everybody. Thank you for having me today. It's uh, you can feel the the weight of the job you all do every day and the joy that it brings to with all those honors that went out to all those wonderful students and success stories that we've seen. What brings me here today is a letter that was sent from the district's attorney in March to the CNY Central Newsroom, the letter that I have here. And it's a couple pages long, but let me give you a highlight of what was most concerning about it. It says, we are writing to direct your news agency to cease reaching out to individual board members and take steps to comply with the district's procedures regarding media engagement and communication. Uh, step down another sentence or so. It said, your agency continues to harass school district employees and officials despite repeatedly being advised how to engage with the school district for information. <laughs> By the way, that's not true. I want to make sure the commissioners all know that. And then one of the final lines, and it says, please be advised should CMI Central not comply with reasonable expectations of all local news agencies, the district may be required to take action to take action to cease all further engagement. So the district sent us a letter saying that we should not contact you who are each elected by some 10,000 plus of the people who pay taxes in the city of Syracuse, which is quite troubling, not just to us, but also to, for example, Roy Gutterman for the Tully Center for Free Speech at Newhouse said, this letter on its face is over the top. I understand the conflict and the tension between covering a government agency and the press but the tone of that letter is certainly above and beyond what most reasonable letters to the press would have in it. The tone is menacing and threatening and would have a definite chilling effect on how reporters would cover a pretty big news story. I know all of you who are commissioners, many of you were activists before you commissioners, many of you would seek us out to do interviews. You would go to find the camera, yet for some reason now you're being told you can't speak to the media uh, to share your own thoughts about important topics. And we're being told to not contact you. Uh, the superintendent, as you know, by state law, actually serves at the pleasure of the Board of Education. You don't work for the district. You're not one of the employees who has a name on the side. You're actually elected leaders. Think about this example. The Syracuse Common Council, also filled with elected leaders, doesn't hesitate to give an opinion about an important issue in our community and instead refer it to the mayor's office for Mayor Ben Walsh to comment. Now, even the New York State School Board Association spoke about this issue in its member handbook. For those of you who are new, I'm sure you've seen it. You had your training a short time ago that talks about speaking with the media. And yes, they advise you appoint a spokesperson, a president, or maybe the superintendent to talk about issues. But in this case, they also say that you work for the public, not for the school district. You work for the taxpayer. So of course, there's a difference they don't take direction from the superintendent, I'm quoting now, as staff members. Thank work. you for your kind words. Your I just three, have a couple more things. Your three I want. minutes have concluded. Thank yes, you. But we I appreciate, we appreciate that. you coming I want to let you want one your, final your three thought. three minutes have concluded. That will continue we're, to report. We're all set. We'll continue speaking, to investigate. The speaking portion is over. And we'll continue to advocate for the people of this community. Likely, and I would encourage you to Thank do you. the same. Thanks. Thank you.